Welcome back. In this Blender video, we are going to take a look at the most basic grouping of objects that you can do in the program, and it should prove useful once you start doing models that consists of several different parts, and you want to move them, rotate them, and scale them all at the same time. For instance, I've made my awesome stick figure model here, and let's say I decide I want to move these things. Well, one thing you could do is you could hold the Shift key down and right-click all the objects so that all of them are selected. Now that I have everything selected, when I move or I decide to rotate, they all rotate together. So that's one option. Now, let's say you do this a lot or you have 20, 30 pieces part of your model. You don't want to have to right click and select all 30 pieces all the time. So here's what you can do. We can scroll this down here. This here tells you all your objects in your scene. So you see here right now I have the cube selected. There's the sphere selected. What you can do in this window really easily is you can assign parents to objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the main body here the parent to all these other objects. And to do that, all you have to do is just make sure you know the names. So this one's called cube. Now maybe just to remember it clearly, I can, I think, double click the name here. Yeah, and I'm gonna retype in uh, person body, just so it has a nice, easy to identify name. Technically, you should do this with all your objects, right? But now watch what I can do. The sphere, I'm gonna click on its little icon here, and I'm gonna left click, drag, let go. Now notice while I'm dragging it, it says drop to set parent. Basically what it's saying is, hey sphere, the person body is now your parent. And notice a double icon. Whoops. I'll do that again. Notice the double icon there. It's letting you know that person body tucked, attached to it, is the sphere. Now what you do is you keep doing this. Let's add the arm on, the legs on, the arm, the legs. There we go. I got all my parts attached to person body. So they're tucked in there. See the whole list. Hide them. All right. Now, what this means is when I go to right click person body and I go to move, all the children, right? It's the parent. The other objects are its child objects. All the children move with it. Or if you do a rotate, they'll rotate with it. Or a scale, scale with it. And so this is nice. Now, of course, you can release this, right, and break the relationship apart. If you want, you can always drag them back out again, drop the clear parent, and you can take them out if at some time you don't want to do that anymore. But it's nice to have things grouped up. Uh, that should be grouped up. Notice when you ungroup them, some of the effects, right, have been undone here. So that's parenting. Makes it very easy to work with your model, right? Group parts up. Simple. Thanks for watching.